We are here in the Faltebach. We see the DIM 250 right in my back. That's the state of the art in the later of ecodynamics to get the real life feeling for our digital. On top of the base plate, we got the hexapod that enables us to move the whole cell uh, up to 35 square seconds and the greenhouse up to 32 square And we got like a 9 meter screen with 4K barcode beams five of them uh, to move the very accurate and good picture. On the simulator, we can reproduce. Pretty much every situation of real life driving coming from driving around the town on motorways, uh, on rural roads, and as well, obviously, we go to the north side here on the hot and the During a test, we got the measurement data where we can have a look at G's and how the car responds to the driver. The specialty of about the Project One cell we see here is we got like torque force feedback, torque machine, with a full braking system from pedal to brake pads. Today we got Maro Engel coming round. He won the 24 hours race at the Nürburgring uh, in 2016, so he knows his way exactly around the Nürburgring. With a race driver, you got really reproductive driving, so you can constantly go into the same direction and same spot and analyze changes pretty exactly. To drive these kind of performances, so they give you direct feedback and precise feedback. Running presentation, mega. Sitting in the car feels amazing. I mean, it's uh, it's such an amazing project. And when you pull away uh, in the simulator, you feel straight away you know, the huge power, um, very high precision. Uh, the car is really all about performance, and you can feel that, and it's, uh, it puts a smile on your face. Coming down to the Zinger Höhe at 350 kilometers an hour is, is incredible. It's so fast, so quick, and still so stable at the same time, but it's obviously a lot quicker than when I'm racing my MPGT3 down there. Something about 75 kilometers an hour difference, so that is really impressive. It's a project that's never 